Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the early access version of Android Studio. First thing we need to do is go ahead and download it. So we'll go ahead, type in the address, and I'll, I'll put this in the description. Right here we go, we can download Android Studio for Windows. Now they're saying this is early access preview, so some of this stuff isn't actually ready. Some of the stuff isn't working, some of the features, it's kind of an unfinished thing, but I'm kind of excited to give this thing a, a preview and check it out. So we'll go ahead and download this. Alright, cool beans, we got it downloaded. So let's go ahead and give this a shot standard installation wizard and just like everything else just a series of prompts okay Yep, let's give it a start and let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, and it seemed nothing happened when I tried to start the um, Android Studio. Um, had to do a little bit of research and I found that in order to get it to start, what we need to do is go to our System Properties, Advanced System Settings, and under Environmental Variables, we're going to have to add a new one. You'd want to press new, but I'll just go into edit because I have it. You'd want to type JDK underscore home. Make sure it's all cap. And what you want it to do is you want it to point to the place on your system, the directory that holds your current JDK. Um, I have mine right here. Okay, okay, okay. Now when we do that, now if we try and start it, there we go. Okay. Test. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. Okay, Windows Firewall is blocking it. We want to allow access. Okay, and we can see here down at the bottom, it's loading everything up. And while it's doing that, let's go ahead and see what we got going here. Okay, and we have a familiar view if, if you've used uh, Eclipse before. A little bit different. We got all of our widgets here. And they call it a palette in this program. If we go back to the Project Explorer, we can get back. Well, I guess we can do that here too. Our Java and our XML. Looks like it automatically changes. Uh, let's see what happens if we run. Okay, comes up with my phone here, my test phone. And 
now on my phone I, I have a, a hello world screen let's see if I can find uh, there we go DDMS and what I'll do is I'll take a, a screenshot of my phone and let's get screen capture and there it is hello world well I hope this helped you out um, I know there for a little while I was having a heck of a time trying to get this thing to start um, so just remember got if you don't have that uh, environmental variable it has to be in there in order for this to work at least on my system uh, if you have any questions or comments please feel free write them down below and um, I'll try and answer them as quickly as I possibly can thanks for watching have a good one